My name is Niall Maloney and my business is called Paukau. Paukau is the first high protein frozen yogurt on the market anywhere in Europe. Fingers crossed they'll like it and we'll be able to secure a dragon. Hello dragons, my name is Niall Maloney and I am founder and managing director of Paukau. Paukau is the first high protein frozen yogurt on the market anywhere in Europe. Today, Dragons, I'm seeking 50,000 euro of investment for 15% equity in my company. So where did I come up with the idea of Paukau? First and foremost, I'm actually a qualified dietitian by background with a master's in sports and exercise nutrition. And having worked with a number of professional rugby clubs uh, at the 2012 Olympic Games, as well as Westmeath Intercounty GA team, a key thing that I saw across the board were people were really looking for a great tasting, healthy treat that they could enjoy. I set myself a challenge as an avid ice cream lover to try and create a healthy version of ice cream. So I created Paukau, which is made from a Greek style strange yogurt. Each portion of Paukau contains less than 110 calories, 15 grams of protein, and 80% less sugar than standard branded ice creams on the market. We launched uh, our product to the market and we've had very good success and now listed in over 45 retail outlets across the Dublin region. I'm lucky enough to be able to stand in front of you today, Dragons, having just received competitive startup funding of 50,000 euro from Enterprise Ireland. Thank you very much for listening, Dragons. I'd be delighted to give you some samples and I'll take any questions. Chocolate there, Barry. Oh, stop there, chocolate, that's good. With a choice of three flavours in the Pow Cow range, the dragons sample this guilt-free ice cream. Eleanor wants to know more about Niall's stockists. That actually is very tasty. Thanks very much. Give me a feel for the 45 outlets in Dublin. We're uh, currently listed in 25 super value, and then we're in a number of independent retailers, gyms, cafes, and health food stores. Well, that's called pow cow, but holy cow, a, a healthy dessert sounds uh, delightful, Niall. Listen, just as a nutritionist, how did the human species survive until now without constantly eating protein? I suppose we have gone a bit protein mad at the minute. As a dietitian, the recommended guidelines for protein is zero point, without getting too scientific, it's 0 0.8 grams per kg body weight up to about 1.2 grams per kg body weight, depending on your age, level of exercise, etc. We've always had protein in our diet where we have got it from things like milk, dairy, predominantly, um, meats and fishes. You're aiming to become the Chobani of, uh, of the European market, are you? Yeah, <laughs> hopefully. Just to, just to explain what Chobani did in the US. It was a Turkish guy, went to the US, had nothing and set up this massive empire. And in terms of our brand, I see myself very much following a similar trajectory. Niall, that really tasted good, and you said it was 80% less sugar. How do you get it to taste sweet without having all that sugar in it? So there's natural sugars uh, occurring in the yogurt that we use, and we use you know quite a lot of percentage of our product is yogurt. And then the other thing is we have used some um, sweetener in there as well. Aspartame or something like no, that? It's a rethro. It's an approved sweetener. It's been rigorously researched. What's the shareholding structure in your company at the moment, seeing as you've just got 50,000 euros investment from Enterprise Ireland? Enterprise Ireland have 10% um, equity and then I have the rest of the sharehold. Niall, can we see the packaging, please? Yeah, absolutely. Niall has a clear understanding of the nutritional importance of protein. Do the dragons feel there is a strong enough demand for this guilt-free ice cream? Pow Cow is available in two sizes. We have our 500 ml tubs, and then we have uh, our 125 ml tubs also. If I took that tub, yeah. how many calories am I taking? 110. Niall, I probably saw frozen yogurt for the first time about 20 years ago. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and every year, the, the, the whole freezer um, trade segment says, you know, frozen yogurt is going to be the next big thing. Mm. And it hasn't really happened. It's still quite niche in comparison to ice cream. What's going to push frozen yogurt into the mainstream? Looking at the statistics, frozen yogurt actually grew in Ireland last year 35%. Um, what? Any, any so idea of the size of the market? The market currently is around 3.8 million euro. In the UK, it's growing um, around 10%. And in Scandinavia, it's growing around 35 to 40% year on year. 
So what kind of uh, projections do you have? To date, we have had €25,000 worth of sales, and that's based on 45 stores with an average rate of sale of between 10 to 12 products per store per week. For year one, we're looking at uh, sales of €113,140, uh, with a gross profit of €52,500 and a net loss of €26,800. That's based on listings in approximately 120 stores across Ireland. In year two, we're looking at a turnover of €345,000 with a gross profit of €128,000 and a net loss of about €10,000. In year three, then, we're looking at a turnover of €1.1 million Euro, with a gross profit of €468,000 um, with a net profit of 126000 And in year three, then, we're looking at approximately around 800 stores. Now, that's a lot of product delivered to a lot of stores. How do you get your product to 800 stores? Uh, where we're going to do, get to those 800 stores will be through a listing in one of the multiples in the UK market, we're hoping. So I suppose we, I've completed the Foodworks programme also. My key mentor there is actually Next Sainsbury's and Wait and m and Buyer. So we would be hoping that, you know, we would get a listing in one of those large stores and be in one of the multiples in at least um, 200 of their stores. And the balance is? The balance would be independent retailers, gyms, and also what we are looking at is cinemas. Um, how, but how will you deliver a frozen product? So we would have a, a distribution listing in the UK market. But what about the Irish market? And the, sorry, we have a, a distributor in Ireland as well. So you have a distributor who currently distributes to all your stores? Yes, so they are rolling us out into 110 stores over the next six to eight weeks as well. Your single container? Yeah. How many of those are in a pack? Uh, Twelve. What does it cost in distribution terms? to get a pack of 12 to a store? 15%. Okay. So we retail at a price of uh, 250 to 3 euro for the small tubs and 550 to 6 euro for the large tubs. Get the factory gate price of the product is um, 1 euro 40 for the large tubs and 50 cents for the small tubs. Um, we have a retailer margin and then a 15% uh, distribution margin and that leaves us with 1 euro 11 cents for the large tubs and about 65 five cents for the small tubs. Working off a gross profit uh, margin of approximately around 47%. Looking at the child market, the level of protein in your product. I mean, I have a three-year-old son mm -hmm. and, you know, if I gave him one of those, the small ones, he'd gobble it up in two minutes. So is that safe for me to buy for my three-year-old son? Yeah, I mean, it's perfectly fine. Um, but if they were having a standard regular diet in the day and then this was a... Uh, as a, an additional treat, I mean, it would be fine. And the fact is that it's 80% less. It would be, or it is. It is, yeah. 100%. Yes, yeah. There is not too much protein in this product to give to an infant. An infant, or sorry, a child. But I'm, I mean, I'm, not, I'm not getting a great sense of confidence from you here just uh -huh. on this point, because for me, I'm not sure I have the confidence that this is the right product to introduce it to children at a young age. This product was developed with kind of the adult in mind, as okay. opposed to the child. Now, just so I understand the figures correctly, uh, you're looking for an investment of 50,000 euro. Yes. And you're getting 50,000 euro from the competitive start fund. Yes. Did you count that in your figures going forward when you gave the projections that Enterprise Ireland 50,000 as well? Uh, yes, yeah. And you're losing 36,000 of that 50,000 in the first two years. Uh, so yes. you have only 14,000 to do all of this. Yes, so basically what we're looking at putting the money back into is marketing. Yeah, but, but we have to make a decision on the yes. figures you're pitching to us yeah. today. So, so we're all very clear. Of the 50,000, I'll be giving mm -hmm. you 36 is lost in the first two years, and we hope we might get it back in future years. Yes, well, you will. <laughs> oh, okay. But going into the incredibly cutthroat area of frozen food, with a brand new brand and an offering that is somewhat unique, but there's, there's lots of similar products out there across the market. I'm just struggling to see how an investor can, can reap some rewards out of that. So you are really investable, but for me, this proposition is not, so I'm out. Okay, thanks, Alison. To scale the business, you need to make this product mainstream and appeal to all ages. You may have to reformulate this product for kids. For that reason, I'm out. Thanks, John. I like frozen yogurt. 
But I had a stint many years ago in trying to deliver frozen product. Trying to fight for your space is very, very difficult. This all feels like a bit of a marathon. Uh -huh. So for that reason, I'm out. Thanks, Eleanor. If I thought it could be of any help to you, I, I would get involved. I think I'd be a hindrance and I'd probably eat half the product. It's <laughs> so good. So best of luck with it, but I'm out. Thanks, Barry. Niall, not to keep you in suspense, I'm, I'm not going to be investing and I have to explain myself to you because I, I think I owe you. You didn't talk enough today about the taste of this product. Talk about the taste of your product, that's what leads to trial. Uh, but I get all the marketing science and, and stuff like that. I'd need to be convinced, so I'm out. Cheers, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. Disappointing that we didn't get investment over the line today. But how go? It's going to continue growing and we're going to look at export markets regardless. I just wish he wasn't in Frozen. I mean, Frozen is such a hard space. He didn't speak enough to my taste buds. It's going to be hard to get this mainstream, really mainstream.